what's up y'all welcome back to the channel now this video y'all seen by the title and the thumbnail i'm not throwing these 24s on there because like i said they leaving so i just wanted to test fit them before they go and see how they'll look on the car that way i can know if i can go 24s you know without it hitting this that little bolt under the wheel well so that's that's one thing i wanted to just see so this ain't me preparing the car to get ready for these 24s or nothing because for one i don't feel like i for one i don't know well, I ain't gonna say I don't know, but I do know a shop that fix them, but the shop is like four hours away, you feel me? So, I'm like, that's wasting so much gas just to get the wheels down there to them, then I gotta pay them to do it, then I gotta go back and pick the wheels back up, drive all the way back, that's a lot of gas, you feel me? So, I ain't even gonna worry about getting them fixed, so that's why I say I'm getting rid of them, and I got a couple bars, I, that's why they've been staying in my car, because people been coming to look at them, and then they gonna they've been hitting me back be like yeah i'm trying to get them give me such and such days such and such days you feel me i know most time people be like people say that and they don't come back and get them but i've been i've been like i've been in contact with people about the wheels people been wanting to get them so now i'm just waiting on somebody to actually come and get them so that's why they just been sitting in my car if y'all wondering why you keep sending them in your car it's because people meet me to come look at them and they say yeah i can get them fixed i can get them fixed or they can't get them fixed they most time they be honest with me like oh yeah i don't know nobody to fix them I ain't even gonna worry about it, but I appreciate your time. And then they, they throw me something anyway. It's just for coming to look at them. So, you feel me? That's that's all I've been doing, really, is people been coming to look at them. And I had a couple people that's ready to get them, but they saying they need a couple days because they got to get their paycheck and stuff. So, you know, I, I understand all that stuff. So, that's why it ain't really bothering me. But like I said, we finna go ahead and test fit this wheel. Wanted to see how it'll look on the car. And then I wanted to see if it fit the car if a 24 will fit on this car without me having to get rid of that boat completely you feel me i'm gonna show y'all once we get out of the car i don't know if i showed y'all when we was changing the brakes and stuff but i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all when i get out of the car like i said and the next video we're gonna be throwing the steering wheel in the capri so make sure y'all be ready for that but if y'all new to the channel Go ahead and hit the subscribe button for me, man. Turn that post notification bell up to all. That way I'll be notified every time I drop. I drop four times a week now. So that's my that's my main thing. I want to get to where I can post every day. But I ain't that far ahead. I mean, I'm ahead. I got like a week or two worth of videos already recorded. But if I post all of them in one week, you feel me? Then I only had like a week and a couple days. So that's why I'm just sticking to my four days right now until I get a little bit better a little more consistent i should say i'm already consistent because i've been doing this for i say about a month now I'm posting four times a week a month now so it's been about a month i was doing three times a week like monday wednesday friday then sometimes i go tuesday thursday saturday but I, I like this routine i got going now that way i can have i don't have to worry about posting on the weekends i can record all weekend that's my main thing i'm trying to just record all weekend but like i said y'all hit that like button for me subscribe to the channel if you're new turn that post notification bell to all i think go ahead and get one of these wheels out probably probably that one that one all the way by the door since it's right there by the door and that ain't the one that's messed up the one that's messed up is right behind me i keep it behind me so i can know when people come and look at it, i can show them like yeah this the one that's messed up the rest of them is good so yeah i'm thinking i'm gonna get that wheel out and jack up the car and i'm gonna show y'all the boat that i'm talking about that i don't want it to bust a tire if i hit like a bump or something you feel me so yeah let me get everything ready get everything prepared jack up the car all the good stuff and i'll catch y'all in a second all right y'all so i don't know if y'all can see it that good but that's the boat i'm talking about right there so we already grinded it down all the way to the nut part we just ain't got the boat off so like i was saying i don't know if the the boat gonna hit the wheel it don't hit this hit my 22s so that's why i said i don't know if it's gonna hit if we go 24 so that's one thing i wanted to check real quick so that's what we're gonna go ahead and check sit y'all right here i already loosened up everything so just jacking up the car now Come on. 
ain't trying to get too dirty. Y'all know I got a white camera, so. What's the word? <laughs> All right, my bad, y'all. So, I wanted to show y'all, too. I had to get a wheel spacer on here. It ain't a thick one. It's probably, probably less than half an inch, probably like a quarter inch. I had to get this little wheel spacer so my wheel wouldn't grind. Wouldn't grind on the boat or nothing, so. Yeah, that's, that's another thing, too. Now, I don't know if I need to keep this bracer on right now for this wheel, but we finna see. Now, this should bolt straight up. It should be the same bolt pattern as the charger. You feel me, so... See, I knew that was gonna happen. Hold on, we rubbing on the boat. I knew that was gonna happen. So I can't even let the car down, cause we, we barely, that's like two centimeters, bro. If I let the car down, it's gonna be right on that tire. So I'm not even gonna let the car down. So if I did, what's to get 24s? I have to go even skinnier tires, but bro, I ain't gonna lie. This wheel looks so hard on here. Let me give me another picture. Hold on. This wheel looks so hard on here. Jeez. Nah, I like this chrome look. It might be time for me to go ahead and get rid of the red jones, you feel me? It might be time for real. Y'all let me know what y'all think of it. Chrome or red? Let me go to the side. Y'all can see a better, better view. Chrome or red? I'm leaning towards this chrome one. But I'm going to have to get an even skinnier tire, bro. Baby, y'all can't tell. In, in person, it's like... Oh, that's a little better. But it's like probably a centimeter, bro. And if I let this, if I let the car, the, let the jack down, then we definitely gonna be rubbing, rubbing hard. And it's probably gonna end up busting the tire. So if I was to throw 24s on here, I'm gonna have to get a, a thinner nut. Get a nut that's a little thinner, you feel me? And then we're gonna have to grind down the bolt some more to where it'd be really close to the top. Or if not, find somebody who can modify it. Or I might have to get get some some taller springs or some or some spring spaces like I got on my Caprice I got spring spaces in the front so maybe I have to do that too to lift it up a little bit because I don't want to ride high I just I like I like how it ain't got no gap too but I, I figure if I turn you feel me if I turn it's gonna rub <laughs> maybe maybe not I don't know like I said y'all let me know what y'all think about that me personally, I, I like this chrome look instead of the, you feel me, the red. But then again, I don't have center caps. But like I told y'all before, I don't really care too much for center caps. I don't care about them. If I have them, if I don't, don't don't really bother me. It don't change the way the wheel look for real. The wheel is, it still look good with or without center caps to me. Chrome still in really good shape. Like I said, I just need to clean it. And which I was going to do once we got them on the car, but... We getting rid of them, so ain't got ain't got to really worry about doing all that. But if I got, if I had these on, y'all can see my racing rotors. Y'all can see the new calibers. I'm gonna end up painting them calibers though. I don't want to leave them that color. But like I say, y'all let me know. Even though we can't rock it right now, cause we're going to get a thinner nut and and grind down the bolt some more. But you feel me? It look pretty good. If I took the wheel spacer off, that nut, that that nut in the boat gonna be like right in the middle of the tire. It'll be like, like right here. And my second finger is where it's at, so it'll probably be like right there. It's cool though. Y'all, let me know how y'all feel about it. Let me give y'all one more shot up. 
That is hard, bro. I swear it is. It looks so good in person. A couple people was telling me, check it out, see how it look on this car. And y'all was right, bro. If that, if that nothing that boat went right there, I would have threw him on now and if the wheel wasn't messed up too. Bro. That wheel's so hard, bro. Oh my god. I'm so sick I can't throw this on my Caprice. It looks so good on the Caprice too. This wheel just look good, bro. I just like this wheel so much. If any rim companies out there, bro, and y'all watching my video, man, let's work. Let's work together, man. Hit me up. I'm trying to have some have some, you feel me? I'm trying to have some sponsors and stuff. Be a part of some comp business companies, you feel me? I'm trying to I'm trying to get to work. So some companies, any anything. Now you don't even have to just be wheels. Any company, clothing, anything, you feel me? It ain't it ain't gotta be just car related. Y'all hit me up. But like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think about this wheel. I'm finna take it off, put my rear ones back on. Now I'm ready to boat up some 24s on here and get these 22s off. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it though. All right, y'all. So as I was saying before, y'all can see it probably a little better now. See, the boat don't rub on my 22s even though I got really thick tire on here. I told y'all before, I don't like riding rubber bands. Oh my bad, y'all still zoomed in. But as y'all can see, thick tires and it it don't rub on her. But the 24, like I said, I think the tire is just a little too thick. If I get a thinner tire, which I, I really hate, I will have to do. I don't want to ride on the really thin tires, bro. But we ain't really going to have a choice, you feel me? If we want to go 24s, we're going to have to go that really thin tire route which i don't like i, I hate thin tires because for one day the seal pop off too easily and i, I don't like that so yeah that's what we're gonna have to figure out but i'm finna start looking for wheels for this car now too i need to i found a set for the caprice i'm just really i don't know i don't want to rush it again you feel me so but i found a set for the caprice i gotta find a set of 24s for the cutlass for the Caprice, I found a set of 26s, which I hope they uh, fit on there pretty fine, hopefully. And they the right boat pattern that dude said. I just gotta go check it out, all that good stuff. But like I was saying, with this car, I'm gonna start looking for some 24s. And if I can trade a set of wheels and then throw like a little bit of cash, not too much. Because on this car, it, three of the tires are still good. This is the one tire I do have to replace because I think I gotta get an alignment or something on the inside of the tire. It's, is going bad but the outside is still fine but yeah i'm gonna have to get a new tire on this one i got brand new tires in the back because i had i had busted one of the tires not gonna lie to y'all i had ran over um one time i had ran over a pothole the other time somebody had came and cut my tire so one time it wasn't on me one time it was but yeah i got brand new tires in the back yeah i think i just gotta replace my front ones but these still a good set of wheels they got got the center caps now the curb brass i did not do my pops gave me these wheels like that i think he got them like this so this curb brass i didn't do i i really take care of my wheels but besides they being dirty right now y'all don't get on me for that but i take care of my wheels you feel me I, I try not to hit no curves i try not to go over too many bumps or nothing it's just that pothole it came out of nowhere i ain't gonna lie to y'all but yeah like i said i take care of my wheels I, I don't like nothing bad going happening to them or nothing. So you feel me? I take care of them because they worth money. They they ain't cheap either. And if you want to fix them, it's hard to get them fixed where I live anyway. So that's why I take care of my wheels. I try to do as much as I can to take care of them. I just need to clean these wheels. I need to clean my whole car. We're probably going to take a day since it's, it's getting warm. Probably a day this week. We're going to go ahead and wash it, get it right. So it'll look good for summer. Then I need to get prepared for these car shows I'm, I'm trying to go to. So that's why I'm trying to finish my Caprice as fast as possible. But, like I said, it's going to take a while. We're going to take our time. I ain't going to rush it. Go to the car shows how we go to them, you feel me? We ain't going to win right now. We're just going to show off the car. And the vlog, you feel me, get ourselves out there a little more. But, yeah. Y'all give me a second. Put all these tools and stuff up, you feel me? And I'll catch y'all in a second for the outro. 22s for the win for now. All right, y'all. That's going to be it for this one. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. If y'all enjoyed this little vlog or... Well, just a little test fit of the wheel. Make sure y'all hit that like button for me, man. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And turn that post notification bell to all. 
Now I know I said in the next video we was gonna be throwing the steering wheel on, but I was gonna wait till tomorrow, but I want to go ahead and record another video today. So the next video y'all gonna see is gonna be me getting the measurements for my custom rear deck for my speaker holders in my Capri. So it ain't, it ain't gonna be too much of a custom. It's just I'm gonna be retrimming the, the wood and all that good stuff. You feel me? So. Like I said, I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn that post notification bell to all. That way y'all be notified every time I drop a video. I'm staying consistent, y'all. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me, for real. Man, all that stuff, dog, for real. I, I really do appreciate y'all. So, yeah, like I said, the next video we're going to be test fit. Not test fitting. We just test fitted the wheels. We're going to be getting the measurements. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to Lowe's, get a piece of the wood that you use for the speakers and stuff. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this one, though. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. I'll catch y'all in the next one.